Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Elite Dangerous Adventure. In my previous video, I did my very first mission after a few failed attempts. And after that, I spent a few hours and did a few more similar delivery missions and made quite a lot of money. And I am really excited because now I can afford some new ships. So let's go and check out what new ships can I and should I get and then do some missions with that new ship. Let's go! Let's go to Starport Services. This station has a shipyard. So this is my ship, cell storage ship. Ship value is only 900 credits. No, it's not even worth it. Oh, we have all these manufacturers here. One, two, three, four, five, six manufacturers. I wonder, are these all the manufacturers available in uh, Elite Dangerous? I am not sure. So let's check the core dynamics. Unmatched interstellar supremacy. Core Dynamics is one of the galaxy's premier manufacturers of starships with a particular focus on combat vessels. Its product line ranges from the Compact Eagle to Gargantuan Farragut class battle cruiser. Wow, battle cruiser, that's crazy. The company maintains a long standing supply agreement with the Federation and is responsible for the Federal assault ship, corvette, dropship, and gunships. Okay, so core dynamics are combat ships. The Vulture, 4 million, 5 million, that's a lot. Federal dropships, 14 million. Corvette, 187 million. Wow, this ship looks really cool. But 187 million, probably take me months in Earth standard time to make that in-game money. That's crazy. The Lacey, bridging the stars for half a millennium. One of the most enduring and successful corporations in history, Falcon de Lacy is responsible for three of the most recognizable ships ever released. The Sidewinder, well, this is the default ship. I think it's for every single player, right? Cobra and Viper. The company also pioneered the now standard modular system of ship design that allows pilots to upgrade and replace components with ease. Today, Falcon de Lacy is regularly lauded for critics and customers alike for its dedication to quality. All right, so this brand looks like our most common for new players, I think. Sidewinder is the one I have. Viper Mark III. I kind of like the Viper Mark III. The Cobra Mark III. I really don't like the design. Too wide. I don't like it, but Viper Mark IV, I think, kind of like this design better than the Cobra Mark III. Karit Phantom. Oh, I like this ship. But 37 million, that's a big jump. I can't afford this one. Gutmaya. Effortless elegance. As a company founded by the Empire. All right, so I'm brand. Gutmaya's remit today still matches the origin vision, original vision to produce a line of ships that combine functional excellence with a distinct visual style. As such, the Gutmaya range is considered to embody imperial opulency and are instantly recognizable for their sleek contours and distinctive silhouettes. The company enjoys a rewarding supply agreement with Imperial Navy, which includes the nimble take of on the ego and the widely admired cutter. Okay, Empire brand. Imperial Ego, the vendor does not currently stock this ship. Unavailable, wow. I cannot buy this ship and I don't know where to get it. Huh, I like this design of the ship. Ooh, Gutemaya ships are really, really nice. 22 million, expensive. The most expensive, 208 million. The design of this ship is really nice. Lakang, hardworking ships for hardworking people. Lakang Spaceway specializes in sturdy vessels for cargo, haulage, and deep space exploration. All right, so industrial ships and exploration ships. It has a longer pedigree than most other ship manufacturers, which with its first dedicated transport vessel built on Earth in the 26th century. The company is currently partnered with the Alliance to produce military 
military vessels capable of contouring Targoid. What is Targoid? Thargoid threat. This has so far resulted in the Titan Defender and the Crusader designs, among others. Okay, Type 6 Transporter. Ah, this is 3 million I cannot afford, and this one is 76 million. That's crazy. Diamondback Explorer. Oh, I like this one. This ship looks like the uh, one of the transporter ships from the Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, not the Viper though, the other ship. I forgot the name. ASP Scott, ASP Explorer. I don't like the design of these ships. Transporter Alliance Chieftain. Oh, I like this one. 19 million. Crazy. Alliance Crusader. I like this design as well. Alliance Challenger. Ooh, nice. Type 10 Defender. Well, <laughs> whether I like or not, I cannot afford it. Saudi Kruger. The funnest for the best. Saudi Kruger is best known for luxurious passenger liners such as the Beluga, Dolphin, and Orca. Exquisite gold skin leather has been used in the interiors of Saudi Kruger ships for years and is part of the company's distinctive aesthetics. The company also competes in the field of interstellar mapping and deep space exploration and likes to emphasize the danger and glamour of exploring. Its vessels are suited to completing such journeys with paying passengers. All oh, right, so luxurious ships, exploration ships, Nice. This sounds like the origin ships in Star Citizen. Saudi Cougar. The first ship is a dolphin. Over 1 million. Beluga liner. So luxurious liner. Cannot afford. Zorgon Peterson. Where finest follows function. A subsidiary of Falcon Delacy since 3126, Zorgon Peterson established its reputation with freighter and exploration vehicles that are popular among pilot freelancers in recent years. There has been a noted evolution of companies hardy and practical designs, hallmarks present in the Holler and Adler ships. The revitalized further lens saw a sleeker vessel with additional maneuverability while the mamba stunning aesthetic has been well received by critics okay hauler so this will be for your cargo hauling professions mostly an explorer oh i love the ship 55 milli oh this is a racing prototype mamba is one of the fastest ship in production wow Cannot afford, so let's go to all manufacturers. Let's see what ship I can afford. The Eagle, Hauler, Adler. I'm not a fan of cargo hauling, like dedicated cargo hauling. Yeah, I want my ship to have enough cargo. How do I see it? Okay, show details like this. Sidewinder, Eagle. Oh, I can see the specs over here. So cargo capacity only two. Hauler, 8, Adler, 8, Viper, Mark III, 4, Cobra, Mark III. Oh, 18 car capacity. Nice. I can do hauling as well. Hard points. I have uh, 4 hard points. I can do fighting as well. Looks like the best ship that I can afford right now is the Cobra, Mark III. Because this ship I can uh, use to do some light cargo hauling and I can also do some uh, fighting. Okay, so landing pad requirements. Small. Multi crew, so it's two seaters. Fighter bay, I don't have a fighter bay incompatible. That's fine, I don't need a fighter right now. Good to know they have a fighter bay as well. So I don't really like the look of this ship, but uh, for the functionality, I'm going to get the ship. So purchase. I just got my new ship. I want to see it. Oh, this ship is uh, is bigger than my first ship. I really don't like the design, but it's not that bad. Yeah, I don't like the color either. Outfitting. Okay, hard points. So class two. Oh, I don't have enough money. I only have uh, 33. Okay, so buy and equipped. Buy and equipped. The second one. Nice. So I got two pulse lasers and two multi cannon. But I don't have any money. Only 4,000 credits left. So I don't have money to buy anything else. Library. All right, this is what I'm really interested because I bought some credits with real money. You can see here and I want a nice paint job for my ship. This one looks really nice, but I really don't like those stars. 
So, ooh, this one. Well, the space is quite dark in the Elite Dangerous universe, so I want something brighter color. Ah, this one is nice, but a little bit dark as well. Check this one. I like those neon lights, but maybe a little bit too much, too busy. So, not this one. Wow, look at this. This is crazy going to a party. 84. I don't understand what 84 means in uh, Elite Dangerous. Must mean something. Just like uh, 42 means something in Star Citizen. Okay, so I purchased this one. It's uh, Pulse Purple. Yeah, I want to be able to see the ship even in dark space with all these neon lights. So this is good. And weapon detailing. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna use the green because I don't want to use the same color. Engine detailing. Yeah, I already bought this one, I think. Okay, let's check the ship kit. I'm really glad that uh, Elite Dangerous has so many customization for your ships. Even though some, some of them you have to spend real money. But uh, in Star Citizen, you spend a lot more money for the ships. So let's... Oh, what? This is crazy. This is really cool. Wow, look at that. This, this looks like an alien ship. Just this... Oh, this is crazy. I think I just bought some packs. So let me see... This one. Very simple. Okay. And wings. Let's see what we have for the wings. Okay, so this one is extended. Oh, this one is actually pretty nice. I'm gonna use this one. Okay, tail. Okay, kind of like this one for the tail. Bumper. Okay, kind of like this one for the bumper. Check this one. Oh, this is pretty cool. We have the cockpit accessories. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna choose this bubble head. Oh, I kind of like this one. Looks like a ship. Okay, so I'm just gonna get this one. Done. Let's take a look at my ship. This looks different now. I like it. It's very simple. Okay, let's uh, check some missions. Delivery. 16 units of food. 132k. It's one jump away. Accept mission. Love this ship. Very, very beautiful ship now. I have my eyes on another ship already. It's pretty to see in third person view for these ships. Really nice. Oh, a moon? What is this? Oh, okay, so slow down. Yeah, I did a moon landing earlier before this video. I failed miserably and I learned how to land. I think I learned how to land on the moon. Okay. Ooh, look at the color of the engine. Nice. And the settlement is down there. Mission board, deliver items, confirm. Wow, this is my first time making this amount of money in one mission. 132k credits, nice. This is it for this video. I really, really enjoyed my first ship shopping experience in Elite Dangerous. Especially how to customize the ship with so many options with the colors and paints all these details i really really enjoy